Breaking news, guys. Justice Binta Inyako to step down from Nandi Kanun's case as shocking reasons have been given. This is getting tough for Nigerians. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up, a big subscribe to this channel, share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. The global family and the movement of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, ably led by the prophets and the leader, Mazi Namdi, Mazi Namdi Ukechuku Kano, condemns the Nigerian government's political and judiciary persecution of our leader, IPOP is talking, using Justice Binta Inyako of the Abuja High Court. Justice Binta Inyako is political stewage for the federal government of Nigeria, who has used her court to persecute and deny Mazin Namdekano his fundamental human rights for years. In a release by Comrade Emmanuel Ema Powerful, the media and publicity secretary for IPOP, he says, during the last court appearance of Mazin Namdi Kanu on April 17, 2024, Justice Binta Yaka openly threatened to adjoin the case indefinitely because she was not allowed the liberty to execute the descriptive judgment against Mazin Namdi Kanu, handed to her by the Nigerian government. The visibly angry uh, judge Yaka's threatening provided that she was proved that she was highly compromised. She is being manipulated and controlled by the executive branch of the Nigerian government via the Ministry of Justice. Justice Binta Nyako has made herself an interested party in Mazin Namdekanu's case instead of being a non-partisan and unbiased judge. A judge that has no control over her court should not handle a high profile case like that of Mazin Namdi Kano. Justice Binta Inyako should redeem herself and recourse herself or step down from Mazin Namdi Kano's case because she is already compromised and controlled by those who sent her because of their political interests. Since the kidnap and rendition of Mazin Namdi Kano in, two, in June 2021 and legal arrangement before Justice Binta Inyako court without legal representation. Justice Binta Inyako has given Mazin Namdi Kano a breathing space to express herself in order to allow for a fair hearing. She has always displayed personal hatred against Mazin Namdi Kano in her court. Maybe she wants to pound, she wants a pound of flesh of Mazin Namdi Kano for forming the Eastern Security Network, ESN, who are dislodging her kinsmen, the Fulani murderers, the terrorist herdsmen, militant from Biafran bushes and forests. Even though the Supreme Court, in their weakness, ruled that the Nigerian government committed an international crime in bringing Mazenam the Kanu back to Nigeria. Also, the Supreme Court ruled that the Nigerian military invaded invasion of Mazin Namdekano residence of on 14th of September 2017 was responsible for him fleeing and that Justice Binta Inyako should have not revoked his bill. Justice Binta Inyako should have restated Mazin Namdekano's bill and apologized to him for tempering with his fundamental human rights. No, she never restated Mazin Namdekano's bill. Instead, she refused Mazen Namdekano's fresh applications for bail or transfer from the DSS solitary confinement to a correctional center because she has a hidden hatred and agenda. The actions and antecedents of Binta in Yako indicated that she will rule against his, this innocent man for reasons best known to her. Maybe the Kano inaugurated vigilante group Treating, uh, threatening to destroy her people who have been raping, oh, please pardon me, uh, let me not use the language, 
who has been, you know, uh, doing whatever, assaulting women in the bushes and forests, and also murdering our people across southern, southern Nigeria. Justice Binta Yanka was handed on already script, uh, scripted judgment, and she is under instructions to jail Mazi Namdekano. That is why she rejected every application to grant Mazi uh, Namdekano bail or transfer him to correctional center, but insisted on escalated hearing so she can deliver a uh, agreed upon sentence with the federal government of Nigeria. She is in a hurry to pronounce the scripted judgment from Bola Tinubu's government to jail Mazin Abdikano. Justice Binta Inyaka was selected because her husband was among the former governors who looted her state treasures with pending cases of the EFCC. She has an order to jail Mazin Abdikano in, in your of her husband's freedom from EFCC harassment. I hope the mind that she rescue herself and save herself and her family of shame and unforgivable and numerous judgments. Namdi Kanu is a lawful Biafran self-determination activist. He was unlawfully kidnapped and is traditionally renditioned to Nigeria by the Nigerian government. The Supreme Court of Nigeria on the 15th of December ruled that the Nigerian government violated international laws on extraction in bringing him back to Nigeria through the Appeals Court, though the Appeals Court was under political pressure not to deliver justice. In the order of justice, the justices who are under pressure to deliver justice for Nigeria, the judges at the Appeals Court send the case back to Justice Bintayako who is on the executive stage, who is an executive stage to continue the political trial and prosecution of Mazin Namdi Kano. IPOP command the courage of the justice at the appeal court, who refused to be intimidated, but delivered a balanced judgment by discharging and acquitting Mazin Namdi Kano. The Nigerian government should save themselves and be friends time and resources by releasing Mazin Abdi Kanu unconditionally in line with the Appeals Court judgment. Apologize and dialogue with Mazin Abdi Kanu. O Kokwo Kanu IPOP stands on the judgment of appeal, Court of October 13, 2022. On the judgment, we stand. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you very much for stopping by. Bye for now.